This is a block that you are struggling with, like Christian, who said, Can you make a tutorial for a two-leaf door? I tried doing it myself, but I'm having problem with the stretch and wipeout thing. Welcome again to the Lazy Question Show. So one of the first problems that we will have with this block is whenever we want to change the width of this two-leaf door. For example, I have a five feet opening right here, but my door is six feet. So I'll have to explode my block. You know, I'll have to stretch my uh, door like so and of course stretch it down about six inches so that way i can mirror this and have my door right but you can see also that um, i will have to change the size of my arc or in this case my door swing so to avoid all of these headaches what we can do is add a, some actions and parameters to our door block after right clicking on it and going to the block editor i can add a parameter called linear and this way when i um, follow the instructions right it says specify start point i want uh, my start point to be here and then my end point to be on the other side of my door and place it like so so we'll have a uh, this exclamation mark simply means that this parameter needs an action and the action that we need is the stretch of course but before we added it we want to select our linear parameter and change the number of grips from two to one because uh, we don't need this other grip on this side so that's what i'm gonna do and then i will be ready to add my stretch action so the way i'm going to add it is following the instructions again from the command line and i'm going to select this linear parameter next what i'll do is select my associated point which be over here and then my corner for the stretch or a stretch frame and would be from here to here and then the objects to stretch would be of course my door as well as my grid over here and i'll press enter so once i do a quick test to see whether this is working or not i will see that indeed my door is stretching but not the way that we want whenever we want to change the door width uh, this means i also need this door to increase accordingly so that's what we're going to solve uh, so let's close the test block and the way i'm going to solve it is by adding another stretch action so let's do that and of course i'm going to select the same parameter the same associated point and for the frame or stretch frame now i want to stretch only this part of my door so that's what i'll do I stretch like so and then the objects would be of course my door like so so once i press enter and test the block again let's see what will happen and as you can see something weird is happening where everything is stretching to the right direction my door as well as this part of my door so to solve that issue what we can do is select our stretch for that specific part of my door and if we go to the properties we will have an angle of set so the angle that it's here for this door is not going to be the same as this other stretch so the angle for this would be 135 so that's what i'll add 135 and then if we quickly test this we will see that now the direction of our stretch is what we want now however there is still a problem the problem is that uh, when we change the size of our door uh, this part of the door is stretching but way too much so in order to solve that problem what we can do is change the distance multiplier for our stretch action again from the properties so there is an option over here and if we set that at 2.5 which is what we want every time we want to stretch in the right direction we want this part of our door to stretch only halfway so once we test this we will see that indeed now our door is stretching 
much much better so all of these steps that we did for this right side or right lift of our door we can also do it in the same way for this other side so let's quickly do that again added an stretch action and then selecting our parameter selecting our grip and then for the frame of course would be different would be over here and the objects will be different also will be only this door and of course we will have a new action right here and we can change some of its properties such as the distance multiplier that we did before 0.5 and the angle of course won't be 135 in this case the angle would be 45 because we want to stretch in this direction so let's add that angle 45 and let's quickly test our door block so let's stretch it and as we can see it's working better now however we still have a problem and the problem is now the door swing or these arcs right here they are not adjusting accordingly so let's quickly fix that and the way we're gonna do it is adding a new action in this case the scale action so let's do that a scale let's select our same par uh, parameter and let's select our objects our objects in this case would be these two arcs and I'll press enter so let's quickly test this uh, and as you can see our door now is working beautifully now to go to the next problem that you might be having as well as christian the person who asked for this block is, let's say i need another door over here so i'm going to copy this door to the side and i will have to create a couple of lines here and then go ahead and trim my wall like so line by line and so on so in order to avoid all of this trouble we can use a wipeout a wipeout is simply a way to hide objects so that way we don't have to trim any walls so let's quickly do that and the way we're gonna do it is of course first adding a parameter a linear parameter the same way that we added over here so I'm gonna select in this case this point and then this other point the end of my door hinge like so so we already know what an exclamation mark means in its an action so I'm gonna add an action and would be of course the stretch action so I'm gonna select my parameter in this case not this parameter but for the hinge of the door so like so but I'm gonna cancel this because do you remember at the step that we are missing here we have two grips and we only need one so let's quickly fix that so I'm gonna select one grip and then I'm ready so I'm gonna add the stretch action selecting my parameter and of course my grip would be here and then my frame for the stretch would be all of this like so and then of course i can select the objects to be stretched my object to be stretched would be this part like so and i will deselect my parameter holding shift on my keyboard to avoid any conflicts with this other parameter so i only want to select this part of my parameter i'll press enter and all we did if we go and test this block is simply add a, a stretch in this direction however we can see we have a problem we forgot to select this part of our hinge so let's quickly fix that by selecting our stretch right clicking and saying modify selection set and this way it's going to ask me for my stretch frame i want the same stretch frame so i'm going to simply press enter to accept the previous stretch frame and then i want to make sure that the add option is selected here and then i can add this object right here and of course deselecting the this parameter with the, holding the shift on my keyboard and that way when i test this and as you can see our grip is now staying where it's supposed to be so let's uh, finally add the wipeout so i'm gonna draw a rectangle uh, like so and simply draw my rectangle from this point all the way up to here like so so then i can use the wipeout command 
and I can use the polyline option select my rectangle and with the erase point sure I want to erase so now when we select this this is not a, re a rectangle anymore but this is a wipeout that simply is using to hide things behind so right now is even hiding this part of my door we don't want that so what we can do is select our wipeout and use the draw order command and send it to the back like so okay so now that we added a wipeout we need to add the wipeout to our existing stretch actions because if we don't do that let me go and test this block to see what will happen if we don't add our wipeout you can see that the stretch action is not associated with this wipeout so if we stretch also in this direction again our wipeout is not working correctly so we already know how to fix that i'm gonna select this this stretch action and i'm gonna right click and say modify selection set and it's asking me for my corner of stretch i want to keep the same so i'm gonna press enter and then for my object i want to make sure the add option is selected and then i can select my wipeout and press enter i have to do the same steps for the other stretch so when we stretch now the wipeout will be associated with the two stretch actions and that's what we want and what i like to do is increase the size of my wipeout a tiny bit in each direction so something like 0.5 so this way i will avoid any glitch problems from autocad so 0 0.5 0 0.5 again sometimes when you have a wall and the wipeout it's exactly on top of that wall or that line sometimes it will still show the wall now i can simply turn the wipeout frame off with the zero option and that way nothing is there and it will help me hide my wall now we will have still a last issue with this block if we test this block and we will see that everything is working nicely of course the wipeout the doors and so on but there is a big issue still you can see if i go smaller than this you have something weird like that so it, there is no limits for this door right now and we don't want that we uh, want to add some standard sizes um, for this door width as well as uh, the door hinge and so on so a way to solve this problem is by selecting our linear parameter and under the property option we will have different ways to set some default values some minimum distance and so on this is again a personal preference you, you can pick increments or so on but for the wall width or the hinge of the door i'm gonna set a distance maximum of how wide can be a wall i'm gonna say one foot six so that way when i I stretch this door right when I stretch this hinge of the door I will only be able to do it till one foot six and that's what I want and in the same way I can set a minimum uh, distance so I'm gonna select my linear parameter and so I'm gonna say four and that way I restrict some of these parameters for this door the same way for the door width what I can do is go in over here and set some parameters for this one i'm not gonna pick the minimum or maximum what i'm gonna do is type a, a list and this way i can select the dist distance value and start adding some of the standards you know might be four feet five feet a feet and so on so that's all up to you you can do your research and just input the standard sizes for double doors so but once you do that you will see that when we test this block we will have not unlimited options but only the options that we specify so it's time to test this block so i'm gonna close and save the changes of course to my door like so 
and then I can copy, I can paste. So thank you Christian for your request. I think that was a very helpful way to use a two leaf door in AutoCAD. And what do you think about this block? Do you think it's gonna save you some time? Yes or not? Let me know in the comments.